the ladies' free skate continues. There's one title left to be decided here at the World Figure Skating Championship, presented by Ole. That's about to happen. The final group of ladies taking the ice to skate for the gold medal. Check the standings once again after the short program. It's an American in the lead. Sasha Cohen in first, followed by Shizuka Arakawa. If either one of those two wins the free skate, she is the gold medalist. From Michelle Kwan, it's much more difficult. A lot of things have to fall into place. Take a look. Kwan has to win the free skate and have Cohen finish fourth or lower in the free skate and have Arakawa place third or lower in this part of the competition. Not impossible, but it's very difficult. So, alongside Peggy Fleming and Dick Button, I'm Terry Gannon. For Sasha Cohen, Peggy, the objective oh, no. is clear. Al Davis used to say, just win, baby. Well, Terry, Sasha has been in this position before, but never at the World Championships. And those other times, she folded up like a card table under the pressure. But she's now being coached by Robin Wagner, Sarah Hughes' former coach, and I think it's giving her the confidence she so desperately needed. Sasha Cohen has the most talent of any lady in the world, and it's time for her to prove the critics wrong with a clean free skate. Go back to the start of the year. I mean, she was just rolling. She won the first three Grand Prix events and was just dominating. She was threatening to run away with the world title, maybe. Up. Oh. She started to fall at the Grand Prix Final, a second, and at the U.S. Championship. So she's trying to turn that around medal for the first time at Worlds. Right behind her is Shizuka Arakawa from Japan. Well, unlike Cohen, Shizuka has never faced this kind of pressure. Shizuka finished eighth at last year's Worlds, and here she is in the position to win the title. She's always had the big jumps, but after changing coaches to Tatiana Tarasova, Sasha's former coach, she's developing artistry. And Shizuka is only one one of several Japanese ladies who will probably challenge for the next Olympic gold. There are some we don't even know about, but one that we're just getting a look at right here at the World Championships, Dick, is the 16-year-old Miki Ando. Well, you know, Miki Ando is a young skater who's just way ahead of the game. At barely 16, she's attempting the most difficult program here. She's the first woman to land a quadruple jump, and she's trying to be the first woman to land a quadruple jump in the World Championship. Yet she is also an elegant skater with smooth and soft landings. Don't forget, though, there are not the years of experience that others have. Like Michelle Kwan trying to win a sixth world title. Remember the deductions yesterday going two seconds over the time limit in her short program. We went back to her performance in the short at Nationals this year in Atlanta, and actually she was three seconds over the time limit there. No one caught it at that point, but what about Quan here in the free skate? Well, number one, I think I did catch it at the Nationals, but nobody did anything about it. True. And that was, she goofed. Yes, she did, by not checking the timing on the short program. Maybe a fault of not doing many competitions this year. And maybe no one said anything about being over the time limit at the Nationals because criticizing Quan was like criticizing an icon. Whatever, don't count her out here. As my friend Yogi says, it ain't over till it's over. <laughs> Michelle Kwan looking for a little piece of history. Sonia Henney has 10 titles, that's the most, but uh, Kwan tied with Carol Heiss. No U.S. skater has ever won six world titles. For more on Kwan, right now let's join Lisa Guerrero. Well, Terry, I was actually with Michelle Kwan and her coach, Raphael Aratunian, yesterday when they received word about those deductions in her short program. To say they were disappointed is a huge understatement. He even said about that 5.1 score, it was, quote, disgusting. Meanwhile, Michelle seems to have taken things in stride. This morning, she told us she's planning to just focus on her free skate and put this controversy behind her, Terry. All right, Lisa, thank you. Take a look at the order in which they will skate. And it's the skater right behind Sasha Cohen, Shizuka Arakawa. She's second in the standings. She leads it off, but interesting to note, Sasha Cohen and Michelle Kwan, they skate back to back. So here we go. Four minutes in length is the ladies' free skate. Plus or minus 10 seconds. That's important to remember, and it is worth 50% of the overall score. The third phase of the competition for the ladies. And here is Shizuka Arakawa.
She had a skate of her life in the qualifying. She performed with power and passion more than we've ever seen before. Now she needs to do that one more time. She opens with a triple lutz, triple toe combination. Oh, and added beautiful. a double loop to it. <laughs> Very nice combination. Those were very clean edges in and out. No flutzing or any change of edge going up into that Lutz jump. This could possibly be a triple-triple combination as well. Triple sow cow, triple toe. Wow. See the wrap on her left leg? She has a slight muscle strain. She has said that it's, it's not a big deal. she lands a jump, it's like caressing the ice. Watch it with this triple loop. Look how smooth, how delicate, how easy it is. <laughs> 22 years of age from Kanagawa, Japan. She lives, trains in Connecticut, and it is Interesting, you touched on it earlier, Peggy. The top two ladies in this event, Suzuka Arakawa just switched to Tatiana Tarasova. Sasha Cohen just switched away from Tarasova to Robin Wagner. Oh. Well, that seems to be a good move for her. She's skating very well so far. Very confident, a lot more passion than I've seen before, feeling the music. I like her use of spread eagles in this moves in the field section. Beautiful black back position, a nice arch. But the leg position is a weaker, less difficult position for laybacks. That's what she chooses to do. One of the things that she does so exquisitely is an Ina Bauer. Watch the arch on her back. Right here. Simply gorgeous. seven triple jumps in this program. Incredible. There is even more pressure on Sasha Cohen now, and it does not bode well for Michelle Kwan's chances. What makes this championship performance so good is the overall quality, the edging, the musicality, the grace of her landings, the smoothness and softness of everything. Magnificent. 22-year-old Shizuka Arakawa. What a performance. We'll have her marks. And then Sasha Cohen, Michelle Kwan skate. Peggy takes a look at an Ole Ice move. Ice moves brought to you by Ole. An Ole Ice move.
Ice Moves, brought to you by Olay. For her march here at the World Figure Skating Championships, presented by Olay, they'll be very high. So it'll be tough to beat here. Well, this move definitely set the tone for her program. A very strong opening, triple Lutz. Beautiful, nice straight in the air, right into a triple toe loop. Very difficult, and right up into a double loop. A wonderful combination. And here is a tighter look at the triple Lutz takeoff. Nice, clean landing, and right into the triple toe. A little bit turned on that uh, landing of the triple toe, and right up into the double loop. And Chevy Stromotion shows the magnificence of her triple flip. Now watch as she taps in, leaning backwards slightly, rising to the peak of the jump, tight legs and landing. Is this what we're in store for here in the final group? <laughs> I know, group? we're starting out with a standing ovation. Wow. I love the fact that Tatiana Tarasova is here with her teaching her here. She has just given up on Sasha Cohn, and now she's back with our Look at those numbers in a 6.0 included there. It's a technical merit. Magnificent, Mark. And now for presentation, no 6.0s, but 5.8s, 5.9s. Ones across the board. Tatiana Tarasov on the right side of your screen got tears in her eyes. And Arakawa, that's the standard. Wow. 